Hi, my name is Travis Gertner. I was born a double amputee, missing my left leg and half of my right leg. I'm a two-time Paralympic gold medalist in the sport of wheelchair basketball, and I did that in both the Sydney 2000 Paralympic Games and the Athens 2004 Paralympic Games. Gartner came in the ball game, and he's showing why he's one of the speediest players in international Paralympic basketball. It's all mental. There's always a way to do it. You just have to be willing to get creative, willing to get up and put the work in. My parents from the get-go had myself and my siblings involved in sport and other healthy activities to make sure we didn't have time for unhealthy activities. And so as far back as I can remember, they had me in wheelchair basketball, wheelchair track. At a very young age, I was actually even in gymnastics with a prosthetic leg. I wore a prosthetic leg on my left side for probably six to seven years and didn't want to wear it. A wheelchair was actually a lot faster, a lot easier for me to get around and gave me a much more free lifestyle. As somebody with a disability, you need to feel like you're stable on the equipment that you're working on, and you need to feel like you can actually excel and work hard, and that's hard to find equipment that you can feel comfortable in that way, and I felt that way right off with the SciFit Pro One. The first gym that I got a membership with had a SciFit Pro One on it, so after I was working with that for a while, my hand cycling took off. That competitive bug came back, and now I'm trying to pursue another Paralympic trial. Being an actuary is a demanding job requiring a pretty specific skill set and a lot of your time. I travel a lot for work and I have to seek out venues that might have something like a SciFit Pro One so that I can stay active while I'm there. Balancing that with the training has always been a challenge, so I purchased a SciFit Pro One for the house. I could get up in the morning, get my exercise in, I can be upstairs to help my wife take care of the children. One of the things that my daughter asked for at a very young age was for her own set of weights. <laughs> and so I bought her three pound weights a couple years ago at the age of three. It becomes a way of life. They see that way of life and they're much more adept to wanting to be physically active most of their life as well. Making it to Tokyo 2020 would be just a dream for me to go back. SciFit's come along to be my official training sponsor in my journey to the Tokyo 2020 Games. The equipment really helps me improve my overall fitness and it's been really conducive to progress. I was able to take the Pro One that I have and actually modify it just slightly so that it's more conducive to how I sit on a hand cycle. When I think about myself, I don't think about myself as somebody who's done something too incredible or that I'm a leader. People come by all the time at the gym and just tell me, I'm inspired just by the fact that you're at the gym today. <laughs> As a disabled person, it's that much more important to stay physically active. Because I'm limited to a wheelchair, it's harder for me to get around. I'm able to do it right now. What does that look like in 20, 30, 40 years from now if I want to maintain my independence? The education out there right now isn't there for families who might have somebody with a particular disability. They don't know how they can go out and get active and fit. So it really does give me a lot of engagement in sport to be able to give back to them and talk to them about how they can get engaged and get onto a piece of equipment like SciFit. There's other people who have paved the way through injuries, loss of limbs, whatever it may be, and there's always a way to get up, get active, and stay fit.